This is the Vocal Platform. We start with nothing and end with something. There you go. On Radio Northwick Park. R&P had a bow pie on... Uh, Saturday. Yes. And it was very good. Uh, should we talk about it? Yeah, go on. Then. I- I've got to do some appropriate music. So okay. Maybe. Oh, no, no, that's not appropriate. That's that really not uh, appropriate. That's, an, that's what I call an in joke. Yeah. Yeah. I meant to play this. There you go. Yeah. Makes more sense now. Huh? Very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could just imagine you in like a Popeye outfit. Like, with a fake pipe and a parrot on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Popeye, obviously not, no. No, no. Uh, no, the, the, the thing's very good. Excellent. Uh, extremely drunk. I can imagine. You text me something random, I don't remember what it was. When? Um, Saturday night. Really? Yes. What time? Uh, about, could have been 11-ish, could have been 10, I don't no, know. No, you're kidding me. No. Can I see the... T- no, I delete my messages. Oh... Oh, that's a show. Sorry. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> During our request show, uh, we was talking about, um, you know, Michael Parkinson. I think so. Yes. Uh, he is retiring from his chat show. No. Ne- he's stated that the next series will be the last. How many shows a series? 50. He does about, I don't know, 12, maybe 20. No. Uh, a series um, across, across that... a year. So he'll be retired by about October. Because the uh, next series won't start till about August. Oh, well, okay, that makes, yeah, makes sense, yeah. But I think, I think it might go into eight, uh, oh, 08, but basically that's it. Basically, this series, the next one, that's it, what done. A legend. But he's been doing it for 25 years. Can't believe that. And can you imagine, can you imagine doing this show for 25 years? Yeah, I can. No, I can. Okay. <laughs> you might not be able to. <laughs> I, I won't be able to, no. Um, <laughs> if we were getting paid for it. He's been doing it since 1970. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah oh, okay. that's a different story. From 71 to 82. Then he stopped. Stopped, came back in 98. So he stopped from 81 to 98? No, he stopped from 82 to 98. 16 years he went without doing it? Yeah. What the hell did he do in that time? I don't know. Like, he did like nationwide type programs, like nationwide. Oh, I see. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. If you had your own chat show... Okay. Uh, who would you have on your show? Uh, don't say to shit, because I've got... I've, I've got, got a list here. Okay, okay. Also, have you got a name for the show? Not yet. Oh, oh yes, I do. Okay, okay, all right, okay, wait, wait, wait just there. Um... And now on BBC One. The Vocal Platform. Oh, no, but you, oh, you're calling your chat show Vocal Platform? Yes. Okay. Well, we're taking this to the big screen. Okay. Well, the, 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 the little screen, screen. yeah. Okay. Coming up tonight, The Vocal Platform. On the show tonight, we have Zach Braff. <laughs> Lee Evans. I'm liking it so far. And then... Larry David. Just the, uh, of all, uh, we've done about five or six of these across the whole evening so far. I'm liking that show the most. Thank you. Okay. Musical guest. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, you Sorry. lost me on that one. You lost me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. I did mine earlier. Oh, I didn't hear it. Uh, it was uh, Will Ferrell. <gasps> Will Ferrell? Alicia Cuthbert. Alicia Cuthbert. <laughs> no, I've missed... Oh, God, no. Oh, this is so difficult now. Well, Ross Noble. I don't like him. Okay. Uh, and musical guest, the Foo Fighters. I don't like them either. Okay. Um, Lee Sing- Dave Grohl. David Grohl, yes. Formerly in uh, Nirvana. Yeah, yeah very okay. talented man. So there you go, that's that one. Yeah, right. The Vocal Platform on Radio Northwick Park. Oh, speaking of Hoovers. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Hoovers, right? There's this new one out which compacts the rubbish into so tight space. You can pick it up. LG. It in a block. Yes! LG, yeah. Oh, Genius! The LG compressor. I've seen the ever. If you're going to get excited about Hoovers, it has to be Dyson. It's like the Formula One of Hoovers. It's true. You know Hoover mm. is actually a brand name itself. I know, yeah, I know. They're called vacuum cleaners. I can't really. help it, I just say Hoover. Like Sellotape. Sellotape and a brand name. Pr- Pritstick. And one of the pens. I suppose so, there's no, no, glue, sorry. Glue is originally a brand name. Oh, right. And the pens. It's adhesive. Ballpoint. Apparently. Ballpoint pen, yet. Yeah. there's know, another one. You know Bic? Yeah. I know B- Bic um, is originally German. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and the company was originally called Bitch. Oh, that's B- not nice. B-I-T-C-H, Bitch. Um, but of course, it wouldn't translate for the American market, so they changed it from they dropped the T and the H and it became big. That's Why like they, yeah. true fact. That is a fact. Knowledge is the bomb. You know, you know what? And I think you've you. gone, you've gone into what, is it, what do they call it, can of worms. That was it brand names that mean something else. Oh god, don't even start that. Because yeah. I know personal means number two. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Th- yes, yeah, it means to release a certain excrement out of your body. Well, personal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. In what, I must well, we may have to chat that I'm out. not even going to get into what Sega means in Italian. Sorry if you're Italian. Or well, Sega? Yeah. Ooh, uh, I, I'm not going to... No, I, I know something... I, I know something... Well, 
Fiat Punto means. Yes, so do I. Yes, I, I, was, I just realised now that I've said it, it's actually quite unfortunate even for me. Why? Mm. My surname's Punter. <laughs> 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 Matt yeah. wants to know what it means. Yeah, so. <laughs> Can you explain I, it being polite? Um, a certain part of the male body mm. is rather small. Okay. There we go. So Ben's small. A certain part of me would be. Yes. No, well, not well. It's Punto. No. You're not known as Punto, Ben. That's the thing. Ben, ben, Punto. ben Punto? If you're a car, you'd be Ben Punto. I'll be Ben Punto. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> um, you I know how on, on okay. a bus or a train you have the priority seats to say these are for the, for the elderly and for pregnant ladies? Oh, yes. We came up with an argument, which was, what if you get two people and they are, one says, oh, um, I'm 83, can I have the seat? If the other person says, I'm also 83, yeah, but what month are you born in? June. Ah, March. Walk on, granddad. Would that <laughs> work? Yeah, probably, but what happens if you get a pregnant lady versus an old lady? Because I'd actually give it to a pregnant lady first. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's two pl- against one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's or tough. Potentially two against See, one. See, I never give those seats away anyway. I don't know why. I'm just a horrible person. Hmm. I suppose, well, eh. You can't really say anything to that, can you? No, I can't really. That's not, that's not really a question. It's ben Punto, Punto, everybody. Ben Punto! He has lost the word. This is the Vocal Platform on Radio Northwick Park. I don't like onions at all. <gasps> at all, no. That's no, but it's still at the same time, but at the same time, I don't. I, I like the smell of fried onions. I love I love the smell of fried onions, but don't, don't give them to me because I, I won't want them. But that's weird. Yeah, it's a smell that I like, but uh, a food I yeah. don't. See, I know some people that like the smell of cigarettes. But don't obviously don't smoke. Which I, you know, I, I find weird. I, well, I, I like the smell of a pub. I, I, um, I like the, the kind of that kind of smoky alcohol atmosphere. smell. Yeah, alcohol and <laughs> cigarettes kind of mixed together in a pub does smell quite kind of good. Although on your clothes the next morning, no, no not really. No. And in your That's hair, like, and, yeah. you know what I like. You know the smell of a match after it's I lit. I love the and smell yet, of a match. And yet I'm not an arsonist. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Eh? Candles are nice smells. Candles, yeah. Cut what grass? candles are? Well, yeah, candles. Well, yeah. Okay. Freshly candles. made bread. Oh, what's that bread? Petrol? I love petrol. I was petrol. Gonna say, oh, petrol. When I was younger, even the slightest smell of petrol in a car, and I'd get, I'd get car sick. Really? But oh, no. If I'm not in a car, I like it. Like, the smell of... I, I don't get that's it. That doesn't strange. make sense. No, that doesn't make sense. So like, maybe... Were you car sick when you were a kid? All the time. Oh, that's why then. Because and they, um, it reminded you of it. I love the smell of petrol. I love but I like petrol. it sometimes. <laughs> uh, but do you like the smell of oil then? Because oil has a horrible smell. Oh. It's kind of greasy, isn't yeah. it? No, probably not, no. Do you know what I love the smell of? <laughs> when you fa- <laughs> That's a great soundbite. Yeah. Do you know what I love the smell You're gonna of? You're going to cut something over that, aren't you? <laughs> you probably Do you yeah. know what I love the smell of? Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't even need to cut anything over it now. This is the Vocal Platform on Radio Northwick Park. Well, I hate things that, like, at the time seem like a good idea. And then five seconds after, you're like... Oh no! I thought, well, when you said five seconds after, I thought you meant after. You know, when you look back, you yeah. Think, uh, when you look back, uh, I mean, uh, from I have to say, from about 1998 to through to about the year 2000, I had a centre parting. Snap! <laughs> but it was, I, I used to have proper curtains down yeah. to here. Oh no! Oh, do you, well, you say down to here, it's radio, so you mean the chin? No, no. It was well, my first lot when I was in primary school came down to about my eyebrows. Yeah. But then, as soon, like, as soon as I grew older and I rebelled at high school, <laughs> it came down to about my chin, but then I was forced to get it cut by the headmaster. My, my, mine only were sort of, you know, just on the forehead, sort of the kind of... Yeah. Cur- oh. Curtains on the, literally curtains on the forehead. Did you gel them? Um, I can't remember. Because some people I, used to gel their I probably curtains. did, and then I probably used links at the same time. Well, not links on the hair. No, I was going to say, that's a bit weird. Yeah, I know, but, you know, you know my, I had hair gel, centre part in curtains, and links. links, yes. So you're the perfect high school kid. I was really. the, t- I was the uh, typical nineties. I was t- yeah, typical nineties, typical teenager. Really? Did you have like a two P queen in your tie as well? No, no, that's long before that. Long before. I, I, I had a pager at my school. I had a pager at my school. <laughs> oh, pages were so pointless. Yes. Because I mean, not the doctor's pages, obviously. Doctor's no, pages are quite uh, worthwhile. Yeah. But what was the point? If you were a kid, like in year seven or eight, you had a pager. Yeah. Like, your mum would yeah. send you a message. Then so call Hi, me. Hope lunch is okay. Call me. Yeah. And you, I'll get the mobile out then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but what did you? What was the first text message you ever sent? On the mobile? Yeah. I was so astounded when I found text messaging. <laughs> I was like... Whoa. Whoa. How does this work? I remember when, when, the first time I got uh, a, a, a picture phone. Yeah. The first picture I took literally like 
five minutes after I got it was a picture of me from my from just from arm's yeah. length and it's just me going hey. in a big kind of open mouth. One like, of those MySpace faces. Yeah, and it's just basically I send to everyone I know saying I've got a new phone. La 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 la. That's it. Did they just reply saying? Who's this? Yeah, yeah who's this? this? They couldn't see the picture. And they ain't got the number. I don't know who it is. Yeah, <laughs> and so. it wasn't even your friends. Well, obviously they knew who it was. We all hope so, because it's got my picture, yeah, my picture on it, going, me, me going... <laughs> yeah. The Vocal Platform, Wednesday night from 10, on Radio Northwick Park.